Alrighty, here we go folks, another tutorial. We're going to convert lithium carbonate into uh, lithium hydroxide. So we're going to use a lithium hydroxide to produce a metathesis reaction between lithium carbonate and calcium hydroxide. So we got lithium carbonate. I got that for simple reasons cheap. It's ten dollars a pound. I can order lithium uh, hydroxide up as expensive as hazmat shipping. For the same amount I'm going to make it probably cost me fifty bucks. So anyway, pickle lime. It's a food grade calcium hydroxide and the reaction goes like this. Okay, it, it's very low solubility on the lithium uh, carbonate. Uh, it takes uh, two liters of distilled water to dissolve uh, 25.64 grams, which is a molar equivalent that I'm going to use with the calcium hydroxide, which the same molar equivalent would be 21.0147, 21.1 close enough. Alrighty, you mix this together and you shake it up. Okay, and uh, so you have to put it in the freezer. Uh, most chemicals dissolve in hot water, lithium carbonate dissolves in cold water. So you put it in the freezer, shake it up until it's uh, dissolved. And then you put the calcium hydroxide in after it's all dissolved. And shake it several times and let it sit overnight for the reaction to work. And then you take it the next day and you put it in a Perex container and you bring it to a boil for about 10 or 15 minutes to get the reaction to go forward. You add a little extra calcium hydroxide in there just to keep the reaction going the right way. Okay. Okay, the next day, before you boil it, it'll be settled out. It'll be a sort of a milky looking liquid with a sediment in the bottom. Okay, and uh, and then after you boil it and put it in a, and you boil it, and then you let it settle again, and you get a, a clear liquid. The reaction's gone all the way through pretty much. And then uh, you filter it. I use two coffee filters, one on top of each other, on a, just a regular old funnel, with a piece of a plastic window screen at the bottom to give it more surface area to the filter, so it won't clog so easy and it drains a lot quicker that way. Okay, then you get once that's been filtered twice, you get a, a water clear liquid here. All right, that's just a filter process again. And, uh, so, and once you got all that dry, you dry this out. You pull over the still water through it to get the rest of the lithium um, hydroxide out of there. What I normally do is take, in, uh, take my filtrate and uh, let it dry. I dried it in the oven. Uh, I got a little toaster oven. I modified for low temperature. And uh, weigh it. And uh, with this reaction, what I use, you should get about 25, about 28 grams. I got about 27 because I lost some when I was filtering and you know this that and the other but it's, it says it tells you the reaction is pretty much gone through. Then you get a, a clear water clear liquid just totally clear. Okay so you put this in a I put it in a uh, let me see if I get a picture of this here I put it in a casserole dish Perex casserole dish about 10 inches long 5 inches wide and about 3 inches deep holds about a liter and a quarter and I put it in this uh, drying oven at about 250 240 somewhere in that neighborhood and let it dry and I kept adding some every couple hours until I got the whole two liters in it and brought it down to about uh, 475 milliliters about 16 ounces now if you notice this has some residue left in it uh, lithium carbonate I'm sorry lithium hydroxide soaks up large quantities of uh, carbon dioxide and uh, so it'll over the night you'll lose a little bit and also some of the other chemicals that didn't quite convert, so the lithium uh, carbonate will be in there and a little bit of calcium carbonate will be in there as well. And uh, so you have to refilter it. And once you refilter it, you get crystal clear liquid. A little tinge to it, but it's crystal clear liquid. And this is uh, works out to be uh, 4.1 grams per 100 cc's of lithium hydroxide. So when I mix up my battery fluid, I'll use this fluid here plus some distilled water to put in my potassium hydroxide in for my nickel iron batteries. Well like always, chemicals are dangerous. Lithium hydroxide is highly corrosive, especially when it's hot. So when you're dealing with it hot, it's, it's got to be, be careful. And whenever you uh, take it off the heat after being drying it, you, uh, you want to pour it, not scalding hot, but warm through the filters because uh, the chemicals in there, the lithium hydroxide dissolves 
in hot water better than it does cold but the impurities are the opposite so they'll dissolve better in cold water so what you want to do is filter it while it's still fairly warm not hot enough to burn it or anything but go ahead and do that and that'll get most of the uh, particle uh, particulates out of there and give you a fairly pull up, uh, good product I think it'll be okay for the batteries I've used some already in one and it works really good matter of fact it give it about I don't know I say 15 percent increase in uh, output versus not having it just for straight potassium hydroxide well this is this tutorial for today I'm going to post this one up here pretty soon you guys be cool and be safe thanks for listening